Okay, this demonstration is going to show how we have to over length parts in order to miter, miter them together. So if we take a look at this particular model, you can see how these parts don't actually come together for a clean miter that will go all the way across. Um, we need to make these longer uh, in all directions in order for them to have enough material to go back and miter. There's so a, uh, a couple different things we need to do. Uh, first of all, let's focus on the bottom of the part down here and we need to add half the material diameter to each direction and the material is, is 1.75 so we're going to change that and or add additional point down here towards uh, 0.875 so let's go to the floor 0.875 from this point right here I'll select that I hit set reference first then I select that point then I go ahead and hit apply jump over here select this reference point and hit apply now I'm going to go uh, to the front same distance 0.875 clear this back out to zero so I'm going to select this same point and hit apply. I'm going to select this point now and I'm going to go towards the back, 0.875. So what that will do is this point will make this part, we'll bring this part down to here. Same thing with this part to this point and this part will go from here and over to here. And we're going to do the same thing up, up here. We're going to extend another 0.875. It's not actually going to be that long. It's going to be a little bit shorter than that, but we don't have to go through the math to figure that out. It, it will miter it correctly for us. Uh, there will be a little bit of extra material that's going to come off the end uh, compared to what there should be, but uh, again, you're going to scrap it somewhere. So whether we scrap it uh, initially or scrap it later on, it's going to be the same amount of cutting and same amount of scrap. So let's go ahead and uh, add that to the, clear the values. We'll go to the ceiling, 0.875. Select right here, apply, select right here, hit apply. Okay, now this other, um, uh, to, to extend the bent part down another 0.875, there's a couple different ways to do that. One is angle. If you happen to know exactly what the angle is, you could select that. Angle is uh, 45, and then um, the length of that is going to be uh, 0.875. Select our reference point, so set reference point, select it here. And that, in fact, would be the right point. Now, that's assuming that this thing is at uh, 45 degrees, uh, or, or if you know the angle. Um, I, what I like to use instead is I like to go back to Reference and s select Set Line. Select this in first. It's actually pretty important. So select this in first. Select this in second. The distance we're going to go is 0.875. Um, if we were to select this end first, then that would be our zero point. So we'd have to add this length in plus the 0.875. And actually, that's not correct. I want, I want to go minus 0.875. And that will bring it off the end. See, when I didn't have that minus sign in there, it's right. that point's right here. I'm actually going to put the minus sign in there. And it's going to bring it off the end of that tube. So we'll apply that. Try that again. From here to here. Oops. Set line, I'm sorry. Here to here. And then uh, we'll apply this. What I did wrong was I hit the wrong apply button that first time, so that's why I came up with that warning. So we'll do the same thing over here. I'll select this point and this point. Here's set line first. Select this point and this point. Minus point eight seven five. So we'll apply that. Okay. Now we have all the extra points. There's a couple things we're going to do. First of all, we're going to go to Edit, Move Feature, select the part we're going to of the of the feature that we're going to move. So I select that point there. We'll select the end. We're going to move that feature to here. So again, select the part, select the end, pick point, and then move down to this point here. So we've moved those two features. Straight parts, you can't move the features. Instead, you have to delete them and, and put them in. So we're going to go over here to the main menu, or excuse me, or hit under edit, hit remove parts, select, 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 and we'll remove those. And then we're going to go back to main and we'll go straight part. So go from this bottom point up to this point, bottom point to this point, and then from these two new points I made here. So now they all kind of crisscross a little bit. Jump over to cutting, new cut. So I'll cut this part to here, complete. Oh, before I do that, I have to hit miter cut. So we hit miter cut first, new cut. From here to here, complete. New cut from here to here. Complete, new cut from here to here, complete, new cut. You always select the part you're going to cut first, then the part you're going to cut it to, complete. We'll do the same thing on this side over here. This one here, 
And then I'll do their bottom part here to here. Here to here. Complete. All right. Now, if you shade it, you'll see that all the cuts look like they still continue. However, under settings, there's a box we can select here that says display tubes is cut. And actually, now you can see, now that it, that's set to that, you can see all the cuts that have been done. If I miss one of the cuts, you'll notice, you'll notice it. So all those cuts are now mitered and you're ready to go. So.